So we continue. We started with exchange rates. We've talked about fluctuations in exchange rates, which might be as a result of speculation, increase in demand for export, uh, increase in demand for export, increase in demand for imports. These are reasons why we have uh, exchange rate fluctuation. So if there's exchange rate fluctuation, if there are fluctuation in the exchange rate, what are the consequences? That's what we need to talk about now. The consequences of a fluctuation in the exchange rate, which might be as a result of increase in export, which can be as a result of increase in import or decrease in import, which can be as a result of speculation. So what are the consequences? So the stakeholders, they are the ones who the fluctuation will affect. Are you with me? Stakeholders will be affected with fluctuation of foreign exchange rates. So we will look at what I wrote here. As the exchange rate fluctuations can, can have significant effects on stakeholders in different ways. Yeah, it's going to affect stakeholders, but it's going to affect them in different ways. Who are stakeholders? Stakeholders are people with, who have uh, interest in the business activity. These are stakeholders. So let's check. For customers, who are one of the stakeholders? They have greater pure, they have greater purchasing power. They have greater purchasing power when the exchange rate increases as they buy more of imports. If the exchange rate increases in a country, it makes the local, the local uh, customers have higher, it makes them to have more money to buy foreign products. That is what it means. Because the exchange rate in this country has increased. We are able to buy more of imports. We are able to buy more foreign products. That is what it means here. Do you understand? So local customers will be able to buy. What are you doing? What is this thing that's pam pam pam? Sit down over there and put your feet. Because the exchange rate has because the exchange rate in this country has appreciated, it means we have more money to buy foreign products. Do you understand? So that is the first one. So customers have purchasing power to buy foreign products due to the fact that the SAB of the country has increased. Two, exporters. They face difficult, they face difficult situation if the SAB increases as they will be less competitive in the international market. In contrast, if the SAB falls, they become more competitive as the demand for export will rise. For exporters, they take products out of the country. If the exchange rate increases, the price of the products they take out of the country rises. That makes them to become less competitive. Because consumer, foreign consumers, foreign customers will not want to buy expensive products. They would rather prefer to buy their local made products. Just the same as here. If the price of import increases, we might choose not to buy imported products, rather we buy domestic products. Same goes to exports. So if the exchange rate increases in this country, the price of export will rise, and this will make foreign customers not willing to buy. Then the product, our export becomes less competitive. That is what this means. Is it fair? Yes. For importers, who are importers? Those that buy from foreign businesses. So if the exchange rate increases, it makes them to be able to have better purchasing power and ability to buy from, from foreign, custom, foreign businesses. Do we understand? For importers, they buy from foreign businesses. If the exchange rate of the country rises against, uh, if the exchange rate of the country rises, it allows them to buy more foreign products from foreign businesses. So they are better off if the exchange rate rises in their country for the importers. But if the exchange rate falls, the prices of imported becomes expensive for them to buy. Do you get it? If the exchange rate is, right, is rising against other currency, it means that importation will be cheaper. They will be able to buy more imports. But if the exchange rate, for, if the exchange rate falls, it makes imports to become expensive for them. That's importers. So importers are better off when the exchange rate is high. They are worse off if the exchange rate falls. That means if it depreciates. That's not all about the consequence of exchange rate. A fluctuation, fluctuation in exchange rate can also affect macroeconomic objectives. And what are the macro, see that before you please. What are macroeconomic objectives? Low inflation, uh, low unemployment rate, economic growth. 
and GDP, increasing your GDP. Yeah. So all these things are what we talk about transition in the, in the exchange rate. So if there's transition in the exchange rate, how does it affect our balance of payments? What's our balance of payments? A record of the transaction we have with the rest of the world. Right? That's our balance of payments. So if the exchange rates, if the currency, if the currency appreciates in this country, it makes our exports to be less than to affect our balance of payments. Can you just concentrate here? If the export, if the exchange rate in this country increases, it makes our exports to fall, as our country will not be competitive internationally, then the balance of payment would come down. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah. Balance of payment is about our export and imports. But if the exchange rate in the country increases, if it appreciates in the country, it affects the export than the imports. How does it affect the export? It makes our export prices to rise, which will allow, which will make foreign consumers not willing to buy from us. Then the balance of payment will be falling down, or will work, will get worse. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get it, please? Yes. Do we get it? Yes. Can't you just talk? Two, employment. A fall in exports will deteriorate the economy as it will affect the exporting business, the exporting businesses. And they may be forced to lay off workers, which will increase employment. Now that the SDG has rise again, the SDG has appreciated. There's a fall in exportation. As a result of that, exporting businesses would not be selling the way they used to sell. This will make them to think of reducing their cost. And in the cost of reducing their cost, they may lay off workers. And laying off workers will work, will increase unemployment in the country. Do you understand this now? Yes. For inflation, you are talking about the price level in the economy. If there is a rise in the, if the country's currency appreciates, what happens? Exports will fall. As a result of that, people will start thinking of buying more in the local market. The businesses, the exporting businesses will, fo will focus on selling to the local market. So if they focus on selling to the local market, the supply in the local market will rise. They are making the products to become cheaper. So prices will fall, isn't it? I'm going to say this again for inflation. As a result of currency appreciation in the country, prices become high for exportation. So exporting businesses would only think of selling to the local customers because foreign customers are not willing to buy at a higher price. Prices of the products will fall. So if the price of the product falls, it makes the product to become internationally competitive again. Do you get it? The product become internationally competitive, which might increase their competitiveness in the international market. So if the competitiveness increases in the international market, the demand for their currency will rise. As a result of that, importation will become cheaper because the currency of the country has risen again. Do you understand inflation here? Yeah. Inflation will reduce exportation. Prices will fall. If prices fall, it could attract exportation again. As a result of that, the demand for your country currency will rise. It will appreciate. And when it appreciates, it becomes easier for you to, it becomes cheaper to buy for, to import into the country. So inflation does what? Inflation helps importation. Then we go to economic growth. An increase in unemployment, a fall in exports, will definitely decline the economy. Because when there is an when there is increase in unemployment, it means the government will spend more on transfer payments, such as unemployment benefits. Firms will not be able to invest. Output will fall. Then the economy is what? Going down. Is it clear? So these are the consequences of fluctuation in the exchange rate with macroeconomic objectives. And fluctuation in the exchange rate when it comes to 